<laughs> hey there, it's a bit of tech here talking about all things AV. And today we're talking about projection and in particular zoning in on the cost of ownership on projection technologies in the classroom space. So a quick bit of education to get you on the same page here. Over the last few years we've been getting pitched this new projection technology called laser. And most people go, what is it? Well the basic form of it is using a laser as its light source instead of a lamp. Now there are heaps of benefits for using a laser light source projector over a lamp source projector. Just quickly, it's wider color gamut, meaning more access to beautiful vivid colors. Huge increase in contrast ratio, almost immediate startup, and the one we're expanding on today is the ongoing costs, or in this case, the lack of them. People often talk about return on investment, and when it comes to projection, to me, that's a load of hogwash. You don't get any return on investment. There is no money going back into your bottom line every time it gets used. So we much prefer to call it total cost of ownership. And today, right now, we're hitting the tipping point for where the total cost of ownership is comparative with lamp-based projection in standard installation projectors. And now, very much worth considering for installation in your classroom. So let's get into this and I'll show you why. So we're going to do what every good math teacher would do, and that's get everything to a common denominator. And that common denominator is cost per hour. And it's pretty simple. So let's go. Two projectors. We will pick Sony here today, as they are one of the leaders right now in laser technology. So let's go with the Sony VPLCH375 lamp-based projector, 5000 ANSI lumens, WUXGA, so it's 1920 by 1200 resolution, RRP of 3499 inclusive of GST against the Sony VPL PHZ10 laser light source projector. 5000 ANSI lumens, WUXGA, same as the other. And the RRP is not set, but by comparison, it would be $4,387 inclusive of GST. So the big thing with laser is the life of the laser source. And they are saying 20,000 hours virtually maintenance free against lamp base, which is with this projector at 3000 hours for lamp base and the filter cleaning and replacement. For the, so for the numbers today, let's clean it, not replace it. So let's work this out down to the total cost of ownership per hour. We will take the laser first. Now for easy numbers, let's assume these are installed. So we are not taking into consideration the total cost of installation because they'll be somewhat the same. So it's $4,387, remove the GST because the school can claim that back. So we've got $3,988 Okay, divided by 20,000 hours, and we end up with 19 cents per hour. Okay, now there's no maintenance because it's pretty straightforward, but let's say something goes wrong, okay, and you have to assign resources to it. Let's add one service call in here. So we're gonna add, let's say $150, all right? So we're $3,988, okay, uh, plus the 150 comes down to 20 cents per hour, all right? Simple, easy numbers, right? Let's go to the lamp. Now, given that we need a common denominator, we need to calculate the lamp base projector out to 20,000 hours. Uh, and there will be a lamp change on this one every 3,000 hours. So a new lamp for these is $400, okay? So $400, uh, 20, well, it's 20,000 hours divided by the 3,000 hours, which gives us 6.6, .6. okay? divided by the 3,000 hours gives us 6.6, .6. okay? So we need 6.6 .6 lamps at $400. Uh, at 400. Okay, so we've got a total cost of lamps of $2,666 here, okay? So let's take the same resource cost as the laser at $150 per visit. All right, over 6.6 .6 visits, that's now $990. All right, so we add it all together. We've got the, the projector at $3,180 XGST. Uh, the lamp cost of $2,666. The labor for the maintenance or the resource cost of $990. All right, and that, that all adds up to $6,836, right? 
Uh, now, if we equate, divide that by 20,000 hours, we ended up with 34 cents per hour. If it makes it to 20,000 hours, typically a lamp place projector won't make it to 20,000 hours. So there you have it, 20 cents per hour for the laser, all right, uh, and 34 cents for a lamp based projector. Now we know there are other brands out there with cheaper lamps, also a longer lifespan on the lamps, so I encourage you to do the numbers. The prices of laser will continue to fall as we get more demand and it is the way forward. Given we're seeing better color and higher contrast, it's nearly becoming a no-brainer. And we'll no doubt see the end of lamp-based projection very, very quickly. So check them out. If you want to get in touch, just put a comment on this video asking us to do so and we will reach out. And as always, please make sure you share this and let people in on these simple numbers because the sooner we do and the demand gets higher, the sooner we all reap the benefits. Thanks for tuning in. The Big Picture, Bridging the Gap.